Cavalry's arrived. Anyone still alive down there? Good to see you, Matt. Welcome to the party. Glad we made it in time, sir. Now let's get you boys out of there. close there, Matt. Never left you hanging before, sir. Fair enough. Just get us the hell out of here. All batteries, concentrate forward firepower. Spin up drives two and six. All hands brace for warp jump on my mark. Mark. We ain't seen the Zerg in years. Why attack Marsara now? It's not just Marsara. You need to see this. Zerg Swarm launched a full-scale attack. Devastation spread throughout all Outer Rim planets. Sustained heavy losses. Casualties in the billions. Minutes ago, the Zerg attacked a Dominion military research facility. Sweet Mother of Mercy. Exclusive video footage confirms the Queen of Blades is in fact leading the swarm. We always knew she'd be back, but what's she after? She's come to finish the job. There's no telling what the Zerg will throw against us this time. Sir, we need to make sure our hardware and munitions are up to the challenge. Yeah, I'll check in with Swan down the armory. Knowing him, he's already got upgrades for us. I hate to ask, sir, but is there a reason that convict's still on my bridge? Easy, Matt. Tychus is one of my oldest friends. He helped me out of a real bind a few years back. I owe him. Well, your friend has a criminal record as long as- Mine? Believe me. If Tychus Finley wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. Understood, sir. Yeah, uh, sir, any chance you'll get the lab up and running soon? That'd be great. Just how bad is it, Matt? Zerg are attacking all over the sector, sir. Manx pulled the fleet back to protect the Dominion core worlds, leaving the fringe worlds to fend for themselves. It's a nightmare. There's no way we can stop an alien invasion with one capital ship and a handful of volunteers. Best we just stay clear, partner. We can earn ourselves a fortune working for Mobius while this whole thing blows over. You don't get it, convict. This isn't gonna just blow over. The Zerg won't stop until we're all dead. Don't worry, Matt. We ain't sitting this one out. But we're not exactly in tip-top shape, either. We'll earn some cash and build up our forces so we can make a difference when it counts. One hell of a ship you got here, Jimmy. How'd you get a hold of a floating palace like this? The Hyperion was Meng's flagship back in the day. Me and Matt decided to borrow her when we parted company with him. This old baby's seen us through some tight spots. Speaking of tight spots, Tychus, why are you still wearing that suit on my bridge? Yeah, what'd you bust the zipper or something? Okay, so I might have had a little help when I broke out of prison. Let's just say it came at a price. I get to stay locked up in this suit till I pay off all my debts. And who's collecting those debts? Who sprung you? The Amobius boys, of course. I didn't just run into them in a museum, you know. They want them artifacts something fierce. Your debts better not bite us in the ass, Tychus. Covering for your shenanigans ain't part of the deal. Hey, everybody, our glorious leader has returned. <laughs> hey, man, what's up, cowboy? What do you got for me, Swan? Uh, the usual, building up our standing forces. Bringing my troops and hardware up to speed, huh? 
Yep, you can add upgrades for their tech right here on the console. But building an army on the run ain't cheap. You brought back credits this time, right? Look, I know money's been tight. But that artifact we just picked up from Marsar is gonna solve everything. Yeah, I've heard that before, brother. It's different this time. Yeah, I heard that one too. Upgrading what we got is all well and good, but when are we getting new hardware? A lot of gaps in our inventory right now. Sometimes we take a job with some kind of new hardware, and I get a schematic for it so we can make more of them. The plans for other stuff, we gotta either beg, borrow, or steal. 